So there's a lot of lights you can shoot in. Uh, most people wouldn't prefer the harsh sunlight that we're gonna stick our subject in right now. Uh, and if you want, the way to remedy that is this diffusion panel. So what I'm gonna do is show you what it looks like without that first. And again, you can get some really cool looks, but depending how you're shooting it and what the background's gonna be and how it's lit, they might just be the only thing that's kind of lit. Cause obviously if we're white, your skin's gonna be brighter than anything else. So you can see, you can really get some cool looks with this. But, hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna stick this up. Now I typically wouldn't have the subject hold this, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to. So get it nice and close. And go ahead and look at right here. And now look at the difference right here. It's gonna be darker, so I'm gonna dial down my ND. And expose for her left side of her face. And the light is just beautiful. And with this, you can do so many different shots. This is obviously only one angle, so if I wanted to move and change my angle, again, that diffusion panel might not be that close typically, but where it's at, and yeah, you might need somebody to hold it because it will blow away with a big gust of wind. But the cool thing about this is if you're, you want to just throw it down real quick, you can see the difference from that harsh rim of sun to a nice diffused light. So we can even do something like this. This is on the whim. Come here, go ahead and like sit down in the grass or something. By the way, this is my assistant's beautiful wife, so. So right here, I'm gonna do no diffusion panel. I'm gonna get down in the grass. And now imagine we're having like a couple hang out in the grass or something, some jazz like that. Now it looks pretty cool, just like this. And I like how that looks, but let's diffuse it a little and see what it looks like. So see if you can somehow hold that. <laughs> Not gonna be easy. I need another person. All right. And here we go. That light is awesome. Now imagine if you had two people in the scene, or depending on what you're shooting, it doesn't really matter, but the diffusion on that light is just so much better. If we get it even closer, dim the ND a little bit, you can see how beautiful that light is and how that background's just popping on those greens. So guys, hope you liked that quick tip. Uh, please stay tuned, subscribe, share it, like it. Go to our new website, blackwalnutfilms.com where you can see our new video of a wedding film we just shot. And please stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about a lot of subjects. Audio, which is a very, very hard one for a lot of people, especially at weddings. It's the last thing on your mind and half of the time it fails. So we're gonna to talk to you about our struggles and things that we dealt with when we've been shooting weddings and huge events. Audio, video, lighting, and all of that jazz. Settings on the camera, lens choices, stabilization, monopods, anything you can think of we're gonna be talking about. So subscribe, share it with all your friends, and we'll see you soon.